Good evening, guys. How are you today? Good evening, too. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, very good. And how was your day today? I think it was busy. It was busy. Okay, but now you are going to relax during this class, okay? Okay, Guadalupe, how are you? Turn on your microphone, Guadalupe. Good evening, Mario. How are you today? Turn on your microphone, Mario. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm fine. Sorry, oh. but I just said that I was sick, and so I can say I can. I, I couldn't. couldn't take the. I couldn't take the class. It's okay, but you are here today. That's what it counts. Okay. Okay. Good evening, Guadalupe. How are you tonight? Hi, good evening, teacher. I'm good, and you? I'm fine, and I'm sorry about last night, okay? Ah, okay, don't worry. Okay. At the are... end, I was in the class. <laughs> okay, but we are okay now, okay? Mm -hmm. yes, good evening, yes. Ivan. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I am good. What about you? I am fine. Thanks for asking, okay? And uh, how was your day today? It was kind of busy. I had some work that I had to do that I was postponing day by day. So I did it today. Ah, okay, very good, very good. That is fine. But uh, now you are okay, huh? Yeah, now I'm free. Okay, very good, very good. Good evening, Guille. How are you tonight? Turn on your microphone, Guille. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I I didn't turn off turn on the microphone. Uh, great teacher. Uh, what about you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? Uh, it was good. Um, I. I wake up uh, early in the morning and I do uh, many things. And in the afternoon, I went running. I, I do exercises. Ah, uh, I can see. Okay, yes, very uh, good. I walked, I walked the dog in the afternoon too. Uh, uh, here uh, near, near, of my, near my house, uh, there is a park and then I, I went there with, with the dog and my girlfriend. Okay, very good. Thank you, teacher, for asking. Okay, very good. Yes, uh, what about you, teacher? I'm fine, thanks for asking. I had a hectic, busy day, but I'm fine, okay? Okay. Good teacher. And, and thanks God, tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, it, that's true. Yeah. Okay. We don't have class classes tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, we do. We do have yes. classes. Okay. Remember that we started on Wednesday. We started yesterday. So we are going to have classes this week, Wednesday. Thursday and Friday. Okay, so Friday class is in repetition of Monday class. So we still have Tuesday's class to cover. So next week, 
next week we are going to to have classes monday tuesday thursday wednesday thursday and friday and that friday will be in reposition of uh a tuesday's class okay okay so tomorrow we have a class and every single day next week and mm. after and after next week we go to normal okay 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 very good good evening karen how are you today good evening i'm fine and you i'm fine thanks for asking how was your day at work today productive <laughs> Okay, and Alexandra, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. How was your day at work today? Very exhausting, but at least all is okay. Okay, but you are going to relax now. Don't worry about it, okay? Sure. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon. Good evening, Maria Jose. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. I'm fine today. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, how was your day today? Um, my day, it was very, very, I don't know. Uh, my attitude today uh, was very calm. Calm. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, we want some of that uh, calm that you had, okay, for the ones that had a busy day today. Okay. okay. <laughs> good evening, Jordana. How are you tonight? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. What about you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Okay. How was your day at work today? It was relaxed. It was relaxed. Okay. Good to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good evening, Linda. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, how was your day at work today? No, I work. I got. I went to the gym. Oh, you went to the gym. Yes. Are In you tired? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, very good. Good evening, Eleonora. How are you tonight? Okay, Eleonora is getting ready. Okay, guys, let me share with you. Okay, I'm going to share what we did yesterday, last night. Okay, so remember that the topic that the topic is uh, okay, no problem, okay? And we talk about the common complaints of families with teenagers, okay? And what the parents complain to teenagers about. And they always, well, most of the time they say, my kids don't help around the house. My kids don't listen to our advice. My kids have strange friends. My kids dress badly and have ugly hairstyles. And my kids don't study enough. That's what the parents say about their kids. Now, what do they what do the think? What do the teens think uh, or say about their parents? And they say, "My parents nag about household chores. My parents don't like my friends. My parents criticize my appearance. My parents bother me about homework. And my parents always tell me what to do. Okay." And last night we discussed which complaints seem reasonable. 
and which one seem unreasonable and the reason why, okay? And what all the complaints do people sometimes have about family members? Probably about brothers and sister, you know, my, my brother always, you know, uh, use or wears my jacket, okay, for example, okay? So that's what we more or less covered last night. And we saw this conversation that I'm going to play again, okay? So listen carefully, okay. please. Okay, no problem. Page 36, exercise two, conversation. Turn down the TV. Part A, listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right. But do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness. Were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Okay, so that was... That was part of the conversation, okay? And we also discussed the conversation. Now, but there is another part of the conversation that I want you to listen. Now, listen to the rest of the conversation. What complaints do Jason and Lisa have about their parents? Is that clear? Okay, so here we go. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What complaints do Jason and Lisa have about their parents? Have you noticed how forgetful dad is getting? He's always forgetting where his car keys are. It drives me crazy. And he can never find his glasses either. I know. You know what drives me crazy about mom? What? Those awful talk shows she watches on TV. She just loves them. Yeah, I think she watches them for hours every day. Oh, well, I guess they're just getting old. I hope I never get like that. Me too. Hey, let's go and play a video game. Great idea. By the way, have you seen my glasses anywhere? Okay, was that clear? Oh, you I'm want me? Huh? I'm sorry? I couldn't understand at the first. Okay, I will play it again for you. Are you ready? Yes. Exercise yes. two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What complaints do Jason and Lisa have about their parents? Have you noticed how forgetful dad is getting? He's always forgetting where his car keys are. It drives me crazy. And he can never find his glasses either. I know. You know what drives me crazy about mom? What? Those awful talk shows she watches on TV. She just loves them. Yeah, I think she watches them for hours every day. Oh, well, I guess they're just getting old. I hope I never get like that. Me too. Hey, let's go and play a video game. Great idea. By the way, have you seen my glasses anywhere? Okay. What's that a little better? Yeah. Yeah? Now, what complaints do Jason have about his father? That he always lost the car keys. Uh -huh, that he always loses he his loses. car keys, right? Okay, what expression did they use to express that? Forgetful. Uh-huh, okay, very good. So they say, okay, they say, have you noticed, have you noticed how forgetful, how forgetful, my father or our father is 
is getting. Okay? That's what he said. Have you noticed how forgetful our father is getting? Okay, and forgetful means that he forgets things. Okay, it's an adjective that describes a person who forgets, who easily forgets things. Okay, like the car keys. Okay, what else does he usually forget or what he usually loses or what he usually can find? Glasses. Aha, uh -huh. very good. He is glasses. Okay, very good. Now, what complaint does the daughter has about her mother? She's uh, um, old time watching TV. Aha, uh -huh. so the daughter, she complains she complains that her mother what uh, she's always always watches awful talk shocks talk the shows. same uh, talk shows right talk shows Right? Okay, very good. Now, she is complaining about that. Now, what did she forget? <laughs> Her glasses. Ah, mm -hmm. she lost, she has lost her, she has lost her glasses, okay? Very good. She has lost her glasses. And you see, have you noticed how forgetful our father is getting? He forgets where he loses his car keys. He forgets where they, where he has put them and he forget about his glasses. And she has lost her glasses also. Okay. Very good. Okay. So can I erase this? Yes. 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 Very good. Okay. Now, I'm going to forget about that and I'm going to come to this. Okay. Uh, today we are going to talk about two part verbs. Well, actually, today only two part verbs. Maybe later, three part verbs. Okay. And will for responding to requests. Okay, for example, two part verbs. I'm gonna, I send a document to you that I'm going to share right now. I share this document and we read it just. We say uh, phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs, phrasal verbs are very common in English especially in more informal context. So when you are everyday speaking, you use a uh, phrasal verbs, but informal speaking or informal uh, communication, not too much. So they are made up of a verb and a particle or sometimes two particles. The particle often changes the meaning of the verb. For example, I called Jen to see how she was. So in this context, we are using yes, call, which means to phone, to telephone somebody, okay? Now, I'm gonna use a phrasal verb that has the verb particle call and a preposition. They call off the meeting. So call off means to cancel, 
Okay, so it changes completely the meaning from only the verb. Okay, so they call off the meaning. Now, always, always the tense is on the verb. Can you see right here? They have call off, that is present perfect. So if it is in the simple past, they called off the meaning. So the tense is going to be on the verb, not on the preposition, not on the particle. Is that clear? Hello, no. everyone. Yes. 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 Now, sometimes, sometimes when you mix a verb with a particle, the change in the meaning is a slight is very light, okay? But sometimes it's completely different, like this case, okay? In terms of word order, there are two main types of phrasal verb, separable and inseparable, okay? So when we talk about separable, is that we can separate. We can separate the verb from the particle and put in the middle the object that in this case is a noun, okay? So these are called separable phrasal verbs, okay? Because we can separate the verb from the particle to place the object, okay? Or simply, we can put the object at the end of the phrasal verb. They call off the meaning. Are we clear? Teacher, yes. Teacher, in, in that case, the meaning doesn't change, right? The meaning doesn't change at all. Okay? Okay. Very good. Now, let me tell you this. However, separable phrasal verbs must be separated when you use a pronoun. Okay, if you like the meaning, like you previously talk about the object, which is the meaning. Yes, they call it off. So if you are going to use a pronoun, like in this case, instead of repeating the meaning, instead of saying they call the meaning off, I can use a pronoun because I have already talked previously about that noun, okay? So instead of repeating the noun, I'm going to use an object pronoun that for this noun is it. Now, when I use a pronoun, it has to be in between the verb and the particle. So that means that I cannot put the pronoun after the particle. If I want to put the object after the particle, I have to use the noun, but I cannot put at the end the pronoun. Here are some common separable phrasal verbs. I didn't want to bring the situation at the meaning. I don't know if you understood this part. Hello? Yes? Yes, okay. I got it. Yes. I got it. You got it. Okay, yes. now, I remember that I sent you, that I sent you this list of phrasal verbs. Do you Teacher. remember? Teacher. I don't have it. Yes? I don't have it. I think that I'm not in the WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group, okay. Now, do you know how to, to go uh, to go to the WhatsApp group. Yes. Hello. Do you know how to go to the WhatsApp group? Now you can. Okay. Now, for the ones that are not in the WhatsApp group, okay, uh, I can give you instruction, but but uh, it's better that you call the the support team. And the support team will guide you to get into the WhatsApp group. It's very easy, okay? 
But don't worry, okay? At the end, at the end, the ones that didn't get this material, please send me your email address in, uh -huh. how? If you are not in the WhatsApp group. Okay, we will find a way, okay? We will find a way. Now, okay. ah, here. Now, can you see here it says chat? Can you see on the bottom, on the bottom of the platform it says chat? Yes. Okay, go to the chat and in the chat, please write your email address and I will send the material to your email address. Okay? Okay. So write it down right there and I will pick it up from there. Anybody, anybody that is not in the WhatsApp group, please write your name. No, send me your email address in the chat room. I will pick it up and I will send it to your email. Okay. Clear? Yes. Yes? Can you send it again the, the material in the WhatsApp group? Because I recently... Check. Open the, the WhatsApp group. No problem. I will send it right now so you can Thank see you. it. Okay. Let okay. me see. Please, I don't have it too. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. No problem. Right now, I'm sending it to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Thank you. Okay, check in the WhatsApp group, please. Okay, teacher, I got it. Okay, and I'm sending and I'm sending the phrasal verbs. This document, let me show it to you. This document that I I was working that we were working with this one I sent I send it again to the WhatsApp group. And okay. You, okay. And you also have this. Okay. Now this is better because it tells you okay separable phrasal verbs. The object the object these paint. That is, this paint job is the object. The object may come after the following phrasal verbs. All these phrasal verbs. Okay? Okay? So from this chair, your, your screen is, is frozen. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Can you see it now? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. So... As I was saying, separate phrasal verbs. All these lists, all these lists up to right here are phrasal verbs. Separable, separable. That means that you can separate the verb from the particle. Okay? All these lists. And as you can see here, the phrasal verb tells us, well, the chart tell us the meaning of the phrasal verb. Here is the meaning. Blow up, the meaning is explode. And it gave us an example using that phrasal verb. Like we say call off, the meaning is cancel. So they call off this afternoon's meaning. So it gave us an example. Is that clear? Yeah. So you can explore all, all that. Now, what I want to explain to you is that the separable phrasal verbs can be separated. The verb from the particle. You see, the verb is do over. You see, the phrasal verb is do over. Okay? Now, here, because it's separable, you can say you have to do this pain job and this paint job is the object, okay, over. 
or you can do you can put the object at the end you have to do over this paint job as it is right here can you see it very good now if previously i talked about the paint job so and i don't want to keep repeating paint job and paint job because I've already talked about that. I have the chance that the object, I can replace it with a pronoun. pronoun. Instead of repeating paint job, I can use it in this specific case, okay? So when I use pronouns, I can use them only between the verb and the particle. I cannot use it right here at the end as it is right here. If I'm going to use the object at the end of the phrasal verb, I have to use the noun, the noun, but I cannot use a pronoun after the phrasal verb. Is that understood? Yeah. Yes? Yes, I understand. Yeah. Okay, very good. On the other hand, we have inseparable phrasal verbs, okay? Some of those inseparable phrasal verbs are transitive, okay? So we cannot separate. This one always have to be together. The verb and the particle always together. We cannot separate them, okay? The teacher call on students in the back row. Oh. So I cannot, I cannot separate, I cannot put students here in the middle. No, with these, all these verbs, I cannot separate, okay? With the following phrasal verbs, the lexical part of the verb, so which is the verb, cannot be separated from the prepositions or other parts that accompany it. Who will look after? So you see this one, I cannot separate. Who will look after my estate when I'm gone? So I cannot say who will look my estate after. There's no way, okay? Is that clear? Clear teacher. Okay, very good, very good. Now with these ones, with this one, yes, I can use, I can look after him. In this one, I can use the object pronoun after the preposition, after the phrasal verb, okay? But this is the most important that you need to know. And again, we have the list with the meaning of each phrasal verb and an example of each them, each one of them, okay? Now, very good. Now that that is clear, I want you to come back here, okay? So now we nouns, turn down the TV or turn the TV down because with nouns, we can use it at the end, or we can use it between the particle, the, between the verb and the particle. But with pronouns, we can only use them in the middle, okay? Now, pick up your things or pick your things up because I am using the noun, okay? But with a pronouns, I can only put them in the middle. I cannot put this at the end. Is that clear? Yes? Okay, now, these are imperatives. These are orders, okay? Turn down the TV. So please turn down the music. And the answer is, okay, I'll turn it down. So I use will, right? Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. And why do I use them? 
because in this case, I'm talking about a plural noun. And here I use it because I'm talking about a single noun, okay? Do you have any questions? It's complicated. A little, don't worry about it, okay? Now, I have a question. Yes, what is your question? Is there any problem if I want to uh, use all the phrases and join us, jo join? Oh, how, how can I say, uh, juntos, together. together. What do you mean, together like this? Yeah, you, uh, is, is any problem if I want to use all the phrasal verbs together or I can separate it? No, I know no, that no, I can. No, I, no, 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 no. Hey, wait a minute. What happened? Oh, it, it, it's necessary to separate it. No. Remember, I said, okay, these ones, these ones are separable phrasal verbs, these ones. So this one is up to you if you want to use it together or separated, all these verbs. Okay, but okay. this list, this list here, no way. You cannot separate because they are inseparable phrasal verbs. Okay? Yeah, I got, yeah, yeah. With this, with all of this, with all of this, you cannot separate the verb with the particle and put the noun in the middle. No way, you cannot. With this one is up to you. How do you want to use them? For example, here is the example. You have to do this paint job over or you have to do over this paint job. So in this one is up to you, okay? With all okay, this list, it. with all this list, okay? Okay. Very good. Now let's go. Uh, I don't know. Uh, can you see the? Can you see the two part verbs right here? Right. So again, because we are talking about imperatives, we are giving instruction, we are giving commands, we are giving like orders, right? So his request will be responded with will. Okay, I'll turn it down. All right, I'll pick them up. Is that clear? Okay, very good. Now, let's do this exercise. Complete the request with these words, okay? So here we have the books, the toys, the radio, your jacket, the TV, your boots, the jar, the lights, the trash, and the dog. So, number one, pick up the toys, please. What do you think is number two? Turn off the radio. Turn the radio off, please. Okay, no. Turn the TV off. Aha, uh -huh. turn the TV off. Now, you can say turn the radio off. Yeah, it's okay. It was perfect. But the radio, we need it in another sentence. That's why I say no. So in this case is turn oh, yeah. the TV off, please. Is that clear? Yeah. Now yeah, I can please. also yes. I could have said pick up pick no pick the toys up, please. No problem. It was good. Okay. Number three. Clean the yard. Clean the yard clean, off. Clean the your butt off, please. Clean the yard up, please. Aha. Uh -huh. Or can I say, clean your boots, please? Clean your boots, please. Aha. Uh -huh. Clean the your top. boots. Clean your boots clean. up, please. Clean your boots up, please. Okay. Very good. Or, please, number four, please. Please, please put the trash away. away. No, 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 no. For the trash, we're gonna need it right here in number eight. Please, oh, okay. please take out, take out the trash. The trash. So you see the trash, we cannot use it here. So what can we use here? The books. Aha, uh -huh. because put away means 
guardar. So please put, put the books away. Please put the books away. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now number five. Please turn down oh. the radio. The radio. Turn down the radio. That's why we needed the radio. Okay. So turn down the radio, please. You see the volume is very loud. So please turn down the radio. Number six, please. Please take off the dog. No. No, I'm oh, sorry. Uh -huh, your please. Boots. Your boots. Your Baby, boots. please take off take your boots. Off. Your boots. Your boots. Uh -huh. boots. But in here it could be clean the jar up, please. Yes, it is possible, right? Clean the jar up, please. Okay, number seven. Hang the light up, please. Your jacket. Your jacket. Your jacket. Hang. Your jacket. Hang. Remember, jacket. hang up oh, means colgar. Yes. So hang your jacket up. Hang your jacket up, please. Okay, very good. Now, this one we already said. Please take out take up the, dog. the trash. No, take out the trash. Take out the trash. Uh huh. Number number nine. Please let the let dog out. The dog the dog out. out. Uh -huh. Please let the dog out. Out. Uh -huh, very good. Deje afuera al perro. Okay, and okay. number 10. Turn on the TV, please. Turn on the TV, please. Ah, turn on the turn TV. On the so here, it should be turn. Turn on the lights off. Turn the lights off. Okay, so number two is turn the lights off. And this one is turn on the TV, please. Are we clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Yes. Mm. <laughs> okay, repeat after me. Pick up the toys, please. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys, please. Or pick the, pick the toys up, please. Pick, pick the, the toys, the toys, the toys up, up, please. please. Turn the lights off, please. Turn the lights off, please. Or turn off the lights, please. Turn off the lights, please. Okay, clean the jar up, please. Clean the jar up, please. Or clean up the jar, please. Clean up the jar, please. Okay, please put the books away. Please, please, please put the books away. 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 Okay, or please put away the books. Please, please put away, away the books. Wait. Okay, please turn down the radio. Turn down please. the radio. Please turn down the radio. Down the radio. Down the radio. Please turn the radio down. Please turn the radio down. Please take off your boots. Hang your jacket up, please. Hang your jacket, your jacket up, up, please. Please take out the gar the trash. Please put the trash. Take out the trash. Take out the trash. Uh, please let the dog out. Please, please let, let the dog out. Turn on the TV, please. Turn on the TV, please. Okay, now we are going to do this. We are going to make the request and we are going to answer it with a pronoun. Is that clear? Okay, now, now, uh, for example, Turn down the radio. Please turn down the radio. Okay, I'll turn it down. Is that clear? Okay, that's what I want you to do. 
Okay, now we are going to do a couple of examples, okay? Pick up the toys, please. Pick up the toys, okay. please. No, 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 don't, don't, don't repeat I, I after will. me. Respond, respond to me. Pick up the toys, please. I will pick okay. up them okay. I will pick up. Will pick them up. Uh -huh. them up. All okay, right, I will pick I'll up. pick, pick them, up. them up. Right, I'll pick them up. Why? Because it's plural, the toys. Again, pick up the toys, please. All right. All I, right. I'll pick, I'll pick, them. Them. pick them up. Okay, now you can say all right, you can say okay, you can say fine. I'll pick them up, okay? Again, number two, turn, uh, turn the lights off, please. Okay, okay. I will I'll I'll turn, turn it off. off. I'll turn them off. Turn them off. Right? I'll turn them off. Okay, now I'm going to break you. Listen what you're going to do. You are going to make the request and your partner is going to respond to the request. And when you finish the 10 exercises, then you switch roles. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to break you into... Let me see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I'm gonna make seven couples, okay? Seven groups, okay? Seven pairs. Okay, here we go. Okay, now Alex and Karen go to room number one. Alexandra and Irving go to room number two. Eleonora and Ivan go to room number three. Guadalupe and Nesty Reyes go to room number four. Mariano okay. and Obdulio go to room number five. Guille and Maria Jose go to room number six. And Jordana. Jordana, so you're going to go with... Yes. Room number six, Jordana. Okay. Okay. So, Guille, go to room number six. Obdulio, okay. go to room number five. Guadalupe, go to room number four. Okay. Obdulio, room number five, please. Okay. Very good. Guadalupe, go to room number four. Guadalupe. Hello, Guadalupe. Ordana. Uh, yes. I'm going to move you to another room because there's only one person there, okay? Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay, hold on. Hello, Guadalupe, go to room number, number four. Okay, the number five. Please turn down the radio. Radio. Fine. I will turn it off. I will turn it off or turn it down. Turn it turn off or down. turn it down. Okay. Okay, turn it down. Okay, very good. You are doing okay. Very good. Entonces lo único que tenés que hacer sería I'll turn them off. Las voy a apagar. Okay, but in English, in English, uh -huh. not Spanish. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, okay. did you take a picture? They send the pictures to the WhatsApp. Yes, we yes. have it. Yes, okay, so if you have it, you can share it so you can see it. Okay. And do you know how to share? In the bottom it says compartir pantalla. 
So yes, you I click know. on that, you click on that, and then you can share whatever is in your, okay? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes? yes. Okay, in remember fact, to switch roles when you finish. Okay? Okay. Okay, es very good. I'm going to go to another que... room. No Spanish, please. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, sir. What, what is the difference when the, the plural and singular, uh, I have bad connection with my date? Okay, now the difference, Irving, is it is only for singular subjects. The chair, it. Okay, la cosa, okay. ella, una. But when we say the chairs, we say las sillas, ellas. The same thing happened in English. It, we use it for singular, but for plural, we use them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm gonna go to another group, okay? So now okay. she share, she share the That they are they are requests, uh, okay. but I, I will I will ask you uh, I will ask I will request okay. uh, those those for you okay um pick up the toys please okay I'll pick them up pick them up uh huh I'll pick them up I'll yes pick them up okay uh, very good. The second one is turn, turn, turn off. No, turn the the light off, please. All right, I'll turn them off. I'll turn them off. Good. Excellent. Uh, the third one is clean the yard up, please. Okay, very good. Did you have the chance to do all? Yes, very good. Yes. Excellent. Great, in 20 seconds, everybody's gonna be in the big room, okay? So we're gonna wait. So do you have any questions? Because if you have questions, don't worry about it. We are going to do more exercises right now. Okay, so you won't have any questions. Okay, everybody's back, okay? Okay, everyone, very good. Now, let's continue, okay? Mm -hmm. So, can you see here? Now take turns making the request above. Pick up the toys, please. No problem. I'll pick them up. Is that clear? Very yes, good. Yes. Yeah, but now I'm going to change that to... Hmm, where is it? Okay. So don't worry. I have everything under control. 
-hmm. Okay. Let me share what I have. Okay, can you see what I have in the screen? Yes. Yes. A teacher, a teacher. Okay, no me. problem, right? So write responses to this request. We are not going to write the responses. You may take a picture, and if you want, you can do it at home. Here, what I want you is that you respond. Now, please take out the trash. What is the response? Hey, I'll take it out. Uh huh. Everybody, please take out the trash. Please okay. take out the oh, trash. Take it out. No, no, take the response. The trash. response. Please take out the trash. Okay. 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 I'll, I'll take it out. out. I'll, I'll take it out. Now, what is number two, Alex? Please put the dishes away. Uh huh. Jordana, what is the response? Okay, I'll put them away. Okay, I'll put them away. You can say, no problem, okay, all right, remember? Mario, the next request. Hang up the towels. Hang up the towels. Okay, Guadalupe, what is the re response? Okay, I hang up. Uh, I, I will hang up the towel. Uh -huh. But with the pronouns, I will hang them, up, them up. I will hand them up. Again? I will hand them, up, them, up. them up. I will hand them up. Okay? Like this. Okay? I'll, uh, I'm going to use the contraction. I'll hang them up. I'll hand them up, okay? Because we're talking about the towels, which is plural. So I use them. That clear, Guadalupe? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. So let me close this and let's come back to here. Okay, the next one, Nesty, what is the request? Number Turn off the light, please. Turn off the lights. Uh, Maria Jose, respond to that. Okay, no problem. I turn them off. I'll turn them off. I'll turn them off. Karen, what is the next request, Karen? Turn off the radio. Turn on the radio. What is the answer, the Alexandra? Okay, I'll turn them on. I'll turn it on. I'll turn it on. Okay, now everybody, sure, repeat sure. after. Yeah, I'll turn, turn sure. it on. I'll turn it on. Okay, repeat after me. Please take out the trash. Please, please, please take out the trash. Okay, trash. I'll take it out. Okay, okay I'll, 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 I'll take, take it out. out. Please put the dishes away. Please, Please. 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 away. Okay, I'll put them away. Okay, okay. I'll put them away. away. Hang up the then towels. Hang up, Hang up the, the towels. towels. All right, I'll hang them up. Oh. All right, I'll hang I'll them, 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 them up. up. Okay, I'll turn up the lights, up. please. Fine, I'll turn them off. Fine, Fine. I'll, I'll turn, turn, turn them, them off. off. Okay, turn on the radio. Turn on the turn radio. On the radio. Turn on the radio. Okay, I'll turn it on. Okay, I'll turn it on. Okay, now this, I want you to take a picture. Okay, and this is the homework. You have to use the right preposition with the right verb. You can use this 
to guide you. Remember, you can use this so you can use the right preposition. Is that clear, guys? So take yes. a picture because yes. this is the homework. I took a picture. Yes. Okay, you take a picture? Yes. Yes, yes I do. Okay. Yes. Do you have any questions about phrasal verbs? A lot of them, but we are, we're going to clear next classes. Okay. No problem. That is okay. I like that. Okay. Try to do this exercise. Uh, try to also... Uh, uh, try to remember the meaning of each one, okay? okay. Very good. Okay, that's okay. all for tonight, okay? I will see you tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow we have classes at 8 o'clock, okay? Okay. okay. So yes, thank, thank you for your time. Thank you. And Bye. I will see you okay. tomorrow night. Bye. Have see a wonderful you. night and rest, please, okay? Okay. You too. Bye. Have a great Happy Sunday. Bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye. bye. Have a good night, everyone. Mm -hmm.